Welcome to Ramblings with Rebecca for the first time in forever and the last time in forever because I'm probably going to ignore you for another like week and a half after this. Sorry about that. I've been really bad this summer about Ramblings and also about my dissertation. Um, which isn't to say that, you know, things haven't been happening. <laughs> A lot of things have been happening. Some of them have kind of been intellectual. Um, but that's okay. The summer is for learning and different kinds of learning. Uh, I was actually at um, the law school ball, and one of the faculty, I was like, saying to the faculty, like, I have not done anything. I've been traveling and blah, 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 blah. And the faculty was like, yeah, no, it's you got to do it. Like, take the opportunity. So I... I'm going with I have permission to be ignoring. Um, I should stop ignoring my dissertation very soon, though. Um, so quick updates, quick ramble on I don't even know what subject, and then, you know, a, a promise to focus eventually. Um, I'm losing one of my guests tomorrow. She's been with me for almost two months. Um, she's been to the Highlands, Ireland, Paris, Israel, more on that in a moment, London, Oxford, Cambridge, Norwich, uh, anyway, so we've had lots of fun t touring around the world, um, but at the same time, um, I came back, I've been putting in a solid two weeks of like eight to five in the office every day to make up for that two months that I was gone, not in the office, um, attending various conferences and giving lectures and all kinds of fun stuff, um, I did some writing, it just wasn't my dissertation. Whatever. Um, yeah, and then I am currently have seen someone for the Commonwealth Games, so she's commuting from Glasgow every day. That's grand fun. I have now seen netball and rugby. Fun stuff, guys. We should ramble about the rules of netball and rugby or something sometime when I feel like doing something completely malarkey. Um, and then my family comes in August 4th. At which point I'll ignore you for another week and a half, because well, we're going to be touring around the uh, Highlands. And then four days after they leave, my dissertation's done, so I really sh or do show I should really start writing it someday. <clears throat> Yay. Uh, the plan is this weekend, full draft, goes into supervisor, hopefully, <laughs> gives me some feedback, fix it all in the three days between family visit. Um, we'll be fine. Anyway, so the dissertation is on... Um, how environmental legal agreement, like international environmental agreements, treaties, uh, can, can do, how, if, um, they change the legal status of semi-state, quasi-state actors. Um, so issues of statehood and what, you know, legally is a state, particularly with case studies of Taiwan and Palestine, uh, and then also questions of treaty law, uh, and then from the environmental angle. Um, it, I think probably I'm going to end up going back and forth a little bit between, you know, like legally, what is a state versus practically what is a state, that kind of thing. But one of the ideas is does participating in environmental institute, international environmental institutions and, you know, like legal frameworks and whatnot kind of help build a claim uh, to statehood and kind of force states perhaps to recognize other state like actors that they may or may not actually want to recognize. Um, yeah, so interesting stuff. I, I, I mean, you can pretty easily find legal arguments for Palestine absolutely is a state, no questions asked, past and Palestine absolutely is not a state, no questions asked kind of thing, same for Taiwan. Uh, so that's not necessarily particularly interesting, but hopefully the environmental spin on, like, governing and controlling and sharing maintenance and like you know co-management of like environmental resources and stuff hopefully that might be a new spin on things we'll see if i actually manage to come up with anything original um we'll see um and yeah i was uh in israel um with hannah for 10 days we got in before everything went crazy and um kind of as soon as we got in everything went crazy um I'm not going to do a full ramble on Israel and Palestine because, quite frankly, I don't know that I have the energy. <laughs> Very much welcome questions. Um, but I guess all I'll say here is that my thoughts and prayers and good wishes are with everybody. Because um, certainly it's not just Israel Palestine who's having trouble right now. Um, the world's in a bit of a mess. Um, but there's also um, a lot of cool stuff around the world. So I hope that we're able to get the cool stuff to 
vanquish all the yuck. And with that, five minutes is up, and I'm sorry that I have been conspicuously absent, um, but here's to the fact that September is coming, and maybe I will be more disciplined then.